Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now July 22nd of 2020. Now, ever since the very end of the Skywalker Saga by, of course, J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio with Episode 9, a lot of fans have been very skeptical about exactly how the future of Star Wars will be handled by Bob Iger and Bob Chapek, the two Disney CEOs. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, we do know that they currently have over 10 years years worth of Star Wars projects in the works. That of course is mainly for television when it comes to Disney Star Wars and their streaming service Disney Plus. We also know that they have a handful of Star Wars movies that are currently being developed as we speak. Now everything related to actress Brie Larson, one thing that a lot of fans have been very against is of course her involvement with Star Wars moving forward in the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series. This is the one TV show, mind you, that a lot of fans out there, including myself, am 100% against because of one main reason. Leslie Headland and Kathleen Kennedy are primarily focused on identity politics, their personal agendas, and real world issues being thrown into these new stories that are going to really be the main focus over the actual story and character development. And that to me just sounds like a train wreck in the works. If you guys want me to really be honest here, that's really the best way to describe it. Now, when you look at, of course, everything related to Star Wars, this could very well be Batwoman 2. You know, 2.0 as far as the type of backlash that it may very well receive once it drops on Disney+. Plus. Now, with that being said, what's really intriguing all has to do with Brie Larson's role for the new Star Wars TV series. Now, since the release of The Rise of Skywalker, many fans have been very curious as to how Bob Iger and Bob Chapek will take Star Wars in a better direction for the fans to enjoy. It's explained that many changes are being made behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm with over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects currently in the works, where it's explained that the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series is currently in the works and that she has been working closely with actress Brie Larson to portray a major role in the new series. It's noted that Brie is set to become the embodiment of the light side of the force created by the Wills, who are godlike beings that were created by George Lucas, and that Leslie aims to develop a story element that Brie Larson will be a new chosen one in the new TV series. It's described that Brie's new role for the series will be loosely based off of the daughter from Star Wars The Clone Wars, however will be a different character based in a brand new timeline. Essentially, Leslie is aiming for Brie Larson to become a creation of the Force that is an individual with godlike powers. There will also be a new Jedi in the series sometime in 2022 on Disney+, Plus, when they plan to release it for fans to see. Brie's character is said to have a host of new powers that fans have never seen before that will make her more powerful than both Anakin and Luke Skywalker from the originals and the prequel trilogy by George Lucas. So here's the biggest problem with Brie Larson's new character by Leslie Headland and Kathleen Kennedy. The two big problems that I personally have with this is how they are aiming for her character to actually have godlike powers and that they're also aiming to make her this new chosen one, if you will, in a brand new timeline that is going to either take place well after episode 9 or well before the events of episode 1. Now, this character is said to be far stronger than both Luke and Anakin Skywalker against George Lucas's concept, of course, that Anakin is and will always be the chosen one. Now they're making multiple chosen ones in this new Star Wars TV series by Leslie. Now here's the thing about Leslie, in case you guys have been out of the loop, is that she's not really a real Star Wars fan per se. I mean, she even said this on camera during an interview that she doesn't even have a favorite Star Wars film. She didn't really watch all that much, you know, of Star Wars before she got into this new Star Wars TV series. It really just sounds like that Leslie is a clueless creator when it comes to Star Wars, and it kind of reminds me of what Ryan Johnson did, you know, with The Last Jedi, being so out of touch with Star Wars and just creating his own spin on exactly how Luke should have been portrayed and how that really did not fit well with a lot of fans out there. And that in and on itself really led to a lot of problems, you know, with the roadmap of Star Wars. That led to a cancellation of 10 years worth of Star Wars movies and more. 
So here's the thing about Brie Larson's new character in Star Wars. It's said to be the embodiment of the light side of the Force created by the Wills, who are godlike beings. Now the Wills, these creatures, created the entire universe that were, of course, created by George Lucas back in 1977. So let's not forget about that, that the Wills are George Lucas's creation. He actually made them possible. And now Leslie is taking that concept and applying her own rules to what the Wills are really able to do within this new Star Wars universe that is currently being set up. If you guys want my own take on this, my two cents, I think that this is really gonna be the one big failure of this new Star Wars universe. And beyond all of this, I think that there's just gonna be more success because of what George, John, and Dave are working on. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.